I wanted to talk about um, meat, more specifically lamb, and just cuts of lamb, because like anything that I'll always go on about, I swear you guys must be sick of me by now, um, is that every produce and spice and fat is unique, and every unique produce or spice or fat carries its own inherent character into a dish. So, when I consider my lamb, and when I'm making Kashmiri Pundit style lamb, I really do think about the cuts of meat that are going in. The two most popular cuts of meat that I use, obviously, what's around lamb, it's either lamb leg or lamb shoulder. And I just wanted to detail, like really quickly, the different ways they um, affect spice, and so the different ways that I use them. Okay, so it's hard to see, maybe texturally. Um, I can feel it in the lamb. This one's a little bit fatty, so it's a bit, a bit hard to see the meat. But essentially, um, lamb leg, because that part of the animal is doing, you know, a, kind of a different work, is um, has a different fibrous texture, and the fibrous texture is firmer. It has a slightly gamier taste, and so what that does to spice is that it translates spice moves through that protein and becomes a little more square, a little darker, and a little more blocky in terms of flavour. So it's, for me, if I'm to sort of cast aside, you know, gender, gender sensibility, then I would say it's a more masculine flavour end result. And so I use lamb leg in dishes where either the heat is very high and the, hat, the fats are a lot harder, so like chopta, where we're not really using ghee or yogurt, it's just oil and water on high heat. Um, that's where I'll use a lamb leg. Or if I'm making a classic kind of dad, my dad um, lamb, um, and I feel like more of him and less of me. So my flavour with spice is much softer than he was. And so when I want to sort of recreate him a little more, I use the lamb leg because it recreates that, you know, sort of more square masculine spice expression. Lamb shoulder is um, texturally, um, I mean, it's going to sound like a ridiculous thing to say, but it's texturally sort of rounder. So it's, it's, translates as being less fibrous. Uh, it's a little softer. The fat content is a little bit higher and I always use or use most of the fat as well. So that softens the end expression of the lamb also. And um, it translates spice as being softer and warmer and more unctuous and more opulent. So I use lamb shoulder, you know, when I want to be the most me in my food when I'm feeding my family and um, in dishes where you know I might be using lots of yogurt and ghee and um, fennel seed and cassia and um, whey you know whey in the pressure cooker to soften you know tomato jaggery all those softer sweeter spices I love to use that lamb shoulder just to sort of create a stronger resonance for those flavors so two cuts of meat, two very different expressions and two ways of thinking about it. So when you go to the butcher and you're asking for your cuts, you know, I, I'm always thinking about the end dish, uh, the end aromatic expression and the vehicle that I need to drive that profile. Lamb shoulder and lamb legs. <laughs>